Indonesia and Denmark to all. And it's all coming down to the mixed doubles. For Indonesia, it's the former All England champions, Praveen Jordan and Melati Diver Octavianti. Up against the surprise selection, Matthias Ture and Amelia Melund. So the Indonesian players emerge first, led out by Praveen Jordan. His partner, Maladi Diver Octavianti. Won the All England title in 2020 beating Puavara Nukro and Tevra Tanachai of Thailand in the final. And here come the Danes, uh, led out by Amelia Melun, just 21 years of age, and Matthias Turi, the left hander. This is a huge surprise to me on the selection. I don't believe this pair has ever played an international competition together previously. And we'll wait for the toss of the coin before I get Morton's opinion on the selection of this Danish mixed doubles pair. First meeting between them, and that would have to be the case if I'm right that it's the first time that the Danes have played together in international competition. So I think, Morden, it was the Danes who won the toss, did was Yes, it? it was, and they uh, chose to surf. Thank you. As far as I could tell, anyway, yeah. but I'm pretty sure. So perhaps they think that a brand new pair that hasn't been studied by the Indonesian coaches, perhaps that's a something that can spring a surprise. And here is Praveen Jordan, 28 years of age now, uh, born in uh, Bontang in East Kalimantan on the island of Borneo. He's a tall athlete, 180 plus, and uh, that's about six foot tall. Had a wonderful partnership before playing with his current partner with Debbie Susanto, reached number two in the world ranking. His highest with his current partner, there she is, Milati Diva Octavianti, who will turn 27 next month. The highest they've been, as you can see, is their ranking at the moment, a four. Uh, they're enjoying their 36th week in total as world number fours. She was born in... Sirang in West Java. Now they weren't selected on Monday against Canada. Rivaldi and Mintari were asked to save the day at two all against Canada to win three two. But they did play as you saw against the European champions Alimov and Davlietola Tova. So to the left hander Matthias Turi. 24 years of age, tall man, that's about six foot four. And he and his partner don't have a ranking, which would suggest that I am correct, that this is the first ever time that they've played together. Has a very good men's doubles partnership uh, with Daniel Lungo, former international player for his father, Daniel Lungo's father, Martin Lungo, twice won the All England men's double title. Amelia Lund. Melund, 21 years of age, from Roskila. That's where the kings and queens are buried. That's right, but I was going to say Carsten Martinson came from there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so also got a very, very nice uh, Viking ship museum. Yes, they have. Yeah, I think uh, I've very, been there. It is really very, very nice. So not only uh, never played a tournament before together, not played in this competition together, 
as we look at Bert van Horenbeck of Belgium, I'm part of this. So, Morten, quickly tell me, what do you think the thought process was to select this mixed doubles pair, pair have never played international competition before for Denmark? Uh, very quickly, I think Matthias Christiansen is not completely 100% after his um, surgery. Um, his what surgery did he have? Ankle, ankle surgery, I think it is. Okay. And uh, he's the recovered. Olympics. Yeah, he's recovered. He's okay. Everything is fine. But maybe playing too many matches is not the best thing to do. So he needs a little bit of rest. Then the normal partnership between Melun and uh, Nicholas Nair. Um, it's been seen too much. Um, they don't have any surprise element, exactly what you're pointing out. So what they're trying to do here is with Matthias is to give that surprise element. That's exactly what they're trying to do. With another left-hander? Yeah. So, Melund, used to playing with a left-hander, swapped for another left-hander. Good thinking. So Denmark getting this fifth match of the tie underway to all. The winner of this match will have the luxury of the seeding position in the quarter-final knockout stage. No, that's a good shot from Praveen Jordan. Really nicely played. Oh, good nice fix. Crikey! Taxi! <laughs> oh. Amelia was a little bit too quick. the storm there so good defense from Melund a wasted challenge surely I saw that as halfway towards the blue carpet perhaps I'm being a little harsh let's wait for the instant review system yeah I wasn't far wrong look Yeah, too long. Nice loose grip. Look to the ante. Oh, he's got to be one of the best smashes in World Badminton, Praveen Jordan. Look at that elevation. And that was very, very crisply put down. Oh, 
Yeah. And to add on a little bit on on Matthias Turi, then um, he, with his normal partner, Mai Sorov, they, um, at the All England in, in the mixed doubles, they, they lost to Chan Peng Sun and Go Liu Ying, but it was in three games. And that, I know that's one of the reasons why they also felt that maybe he would be a good option, that he's growing day by day in, in the training back in Copenhagen. He's actually coming from um, South Jutland, very close to, to Germany. And um, he's not really been, been in the sort of eye of the coaches and the selectors and so on for years and years. And then suddenly he's just popping up as a virtually a club player and has just improved day by day. And they think, OK, give him the chance. Yeah. But, I mean, in all fairness to him, I mean, he's been in three international tournament mixed doubles finals with three different partners so yeah. he has got that versatility yes oh goodness yeah. almost tripped over yeah he's okay that's long. Yeah, well left. Oh, there's a challenge here from Maylund. Well, I think that's going to be a wasted challenge. Yeah, you, I, I'm not sure I've got one right today, have I? Uh, you will get this one right. I support you. <laughs> you will. We've been way off today. We've been on form. <laughs> yeah, we're right on that occasion, though. Oh, that's a lovely serve. Couldn't capitalise, though. Oh, no. my goodness. Twice. Yeah. Got her back from a very difficult situation. But nice follow-up by Jordan. I like his awareness here. I think we have another example of here Malon wants to a little bit too over eager making a little bit too many mistakes too much respect for her opponents and again now there is a six point advantage for the former All England champions Jordan and Octavianti at the mid game interval of the opening game seven minutes into the match. Nova Woodyanto, the mixed doubles coach from Indonesia, two-time former world champion with Liliana Nasia. That's a good return, I like that. Just guiding in a downward direction. Making it almost impossible for Octavianti.
Och, det är det. Man kan det väl ut. That's a great surf. Oh, oh yo, yo, look yo, yo, at yo, that! Yo. Fantastic shot. And a little topspin cross-court <laughs> block from Praveen Jordan. A little moment of magic. Love it. Oh, this out. Oh, challenge here from Indonesia. Well, if they're wrong, you've got no challenges left. Well, I think that was a lot closer than you thought, Morton. Yeah, I think it's close. It's very close. Yeah, it's on the line. Good challenge. Well done. Very good challenge. Yeah, Melon is outclassed at the net at the moment by Octavianti. Good play by Octavianti and then of course completely backed up by Praveen Jordan with his powerful smash. And the Danes are really not having a chance here in the opening game. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a very nice shot from Turi. Service error wide of the centre line. Well, that's a pity from a Danish perspective. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. How does he generate that, that power? Power with such a short swing. It's amazing. And virtually no follow through, just no. a snap of the wrist. Yes. Pronation of the forearm. Strong Fabulous. finger power. Yeah. Fabulous. Yep. She reads the game so well, does Octavianti. So often on the third shot, so often in the right place at the right time. And now just two points away from the opening game. But this is one of the more traditional mixed doubles pairs than in the Indonesian mixed doubles, where some of the other pairs have a situation where the, the female player is working a lot from the back, but here it's always Jordan from the back and Octavianti at the front. Yeah. It's very traditional. And she's standing very close to the net in order to close it down to make sure she, they will get enough lifts. Yeah. So after just 13 minutes, it's game point opportunities. Only needed the one. Yeah. 21 8, the opening game to Praveen Jordan and Milati Daiva Octavianti. And a lot of work to be done in the Danish camp. Absolutely. 
Well, that was total dominance by Indonesia in this deciding match of the tie. 13 minutes for the opening game, 21-8. the final point of game number one look at that holds it holds it and then whips it across court Praveen Jordan wonderful skills Well, there seemed to be an awful lot of talk there from <laughs> Thomas Stangwall. Yeah, he said one word I really caught, and he said forward, which means aggression. Yeah, get towards the net. Can take control of the front court area in mixed doubles. Yeah, halfway there. So Jordan and Octavianti racing through that opening game 21 8. What can the Danes do? in the back. Oh, a little bit of trickery from Praveen Jordan. And I suppose what the Danes have to hold on to, Morton, is that sometimes Jordan can go off the boil. He goes on oh, the water yes. bottle. Yeah. Walk about yeah. sometimes, doesn't he? Seriously walk about. Yeah. I agree. Oh. Yeah. I don't think you should try and hit it through Praveen Jordan at the net. No. Painful example here for Malon. It's coming so quick. Yeah, well worked by the Indonesians. And well, just to put this whole match in perspective, with it two all in the mm. overall tie, both of these teams qualified for the quarterfinal knockout yes. stage as the top two in the group. But if you're not seeded, then you could meet the might of China, Japan, or Japan yeah. in the quarterfinal stage. Yeah. So your chances of getting a medal is so much smaller. So much smaller. Yeah. But one team has twice won the Sudaman Cup when losing in the group. Korea done it in 17. Twice in 17, Because right. we, we, when I say we, I was the coach for Malaysia and we beat Korea in the group. And then at, uh, the, uh, at the draw, we got them again in the quarterfinal and lost the quarterfinal to Korea and they went on to win it. They also did so in 2003. They lost to China in the group, and then they beat China 3-1 in the final. Yeah. So it's not the end of the world. No, no. But it's <laughs> an awfully lot more difficult. It is.
that's good work from up to the ante. Yeah, she's very hard to pass um, in the mid-court area. She, she's reading the, the game very well on the mid-court area and tough to pass. And this was a really fine example of it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to allude to in, in the opening game. She has this sort of ability like Hindra Setia one, mm. where she just instinctively seems to, to know where the shuttle's coming. She doesn't seem to be a particularly fast mover on court, but she's always there in the right place at the right time. When do you ever see Setia one looking really rushed in his movement? <laughs> but he's there. He's always there. Similar with her. court drill in the middle of that rally yeah. by the two male players. Uh, Thomas Stango is shouting, everything is good, well played. Hang in. Yeah, I like that coaching. Oh, that bounced off the top of the tape. Yeah, no wonder they're happy. Watch this, it thunders off the tape. Four straight points. Well, that was good play from the Danes. They really upsetting the formation of the two Indonesian players and they capitalised on it. They played well. Good rally from the Danes here. It wasn't the best of serves. It got what it deserved. Yeah, but you don't want to flick it, do you? No. <laughs> oh, dear me. It's that second time, isn't it? service error from Octaviante. Has Praveen Jordan made a service error before? I, th I thought so, but I, I have made a note of it, I must say. Mm. Trouble. <laughs> trouble for the Danes. Trouble, trouble. Yeah. Strong interception. From Jordan. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, proving your point again, Morton. Octavianti yeah. on those half court pushes. She's she was good. on them. Yeah, she's good. Seven of the last nine points to the Indonesians. Oh, that's well taken. I like that. Anila Melun.
Oh, fantastic attacking play from Praveen Jordan. Wonderful angle. But a much better performance from the two Danes now compared to the opening game. Yeah. There was many points at the mid-game interval as they had in the whole of the opening game. the final point before the mid-game interval. Look at the elevation. And watch this final shot from Praveen Jordan. Well, I don't think there's any player in the world that would have got that back. That's fabulous. And it's all happening here in Vanta. Beautiful city of Vanta, just north of Helsinki fourth largest city in Finland. only a couple of points in it now. Yeah, that one skipped the top of the tape from uh, Matthias Tui. Oh my goodness, that's halfway down the net. Turn of the flick serve. And the back level. Good work by the Danes. Four of the five points since the mid game interval. But it's also important for the Danes to keep the pressure on uh, on Jordan in terms of scoreboard as well, because otherwise he is just playing one magnificent win after the next. Yeah. Over pushing again? Yes. Too eager. The Indonesian combination is really good when Octavianti is serving. She's serving very, very steady. And chances are a lift might come. See, good see again. Yeah, it's below the below net the, height, yes. the tape height yeah. of the net when she's playing that, which means you do have to hit it in an upward direction. Somehow, and you have then the choice of trying to pass Octavianti on, on the half court, or you have to lift to Jordan. Well, You've got two choices. It's the lesser of two evils, really, isn't it? <laughs> it is. And that's why I say I, I really feel that this when, when she's serving, they are very, very good. Look at that, once again. Yeah.
Yeah, well played. My goodness, she's having a purple patch at the moment. Is Octavianti. So having lost four or five points since the mid-game interval, suddenly a run of five points for the Indonesians. Yeah. Good awareness. That's a better rally. Landed in. Oh, it's a good shot from two three. Sometimes when we're watching Praveen Jordan, it's tough to read his body language, isn't it? You know, you mm. you don't really know what's happening, and. Uh, I honestly feel that, you know, today he he's sort of, <clears throat> excuse me, sending the signal that, you know, I'm here, I'm here to win, I'm serious about it. Uh, something that we don't see that often. It, it, it's not saying that he's not serious about it, but it's seldom that he's showing it. I think he's a little bit nervous though. That's a great return of sound. You think he's I, nervous? I do. Okay. That can put an extra spring into your legs. Mm. I think he's been helped an awful lot by his partner, Octa Vianti. I've been very impressed from that 12-all situation. Her serving and her reading of the game, I think has helped calm the nerves a little bit. Oh, it's a good rally. Match point opportunities. Four opportunities uh, to have a seeding spot at the quarter-final knockout draw for former champions Indonesia. Oh, oh that's a great shot. Yeah, good return. Second time of asking and Indonesia win the tie by winning this mixed doubles in the form of Jordan and Octavianti. 21-8, 21-17 against Turi and Melund. Umpire just confirming that scoreline, 33 minutes in total. And that was very, very important for the former champions, Indonesia. Won the first ever Sudaman Cup. And now they've topped Group C, and it means that they will get the seeded position at the quarter-final stage. Well, they tried hard, the Danes, in that mixed doubles, but a really tall order for a scratch partnership and to beat the current world number fours. And the Indonesians, in all honesty, did show their class. 21-8, 21-17.
this the match point opportunity. Rack it up, ready at the front of the court. That was a nice shot from Praveen Jordan. And that's a good save. This is yeah. a really strong save. Yeah, down the line. So the victory to Jordan and Octavianti. And because of that, the victory to Indonesia in this group C decider. Yeah, disappointments on the face of the Danes, but they fought hard. But in the end, Indonesia come from 1-2 down to win this group decider 3-2. It all started with the world number ones in the men's doubles, Gideon Sukamolio winning in two straight games. Mia Blickfeldt, the European Games gold medalist, well, she needed three games against the Indonesian teenager, but comfortable in the deciding game. Anna's Antonsen finally beat Anthony Ginting, the Olympic bronze medalist, in their fifth meeting. He finally won and recorded his first victory. So the World Championship silver medalist put Denmark 2-1 up in the overall tie. But the Olympic champions, Polly and Rahayu, uh, really were very solid in the women's doubles. Look at the score in the second game, 21-9. That was very convincing. And of course, the former All England champions, Jordan and Octavianti, were always favourites in uh, the mixed doubles against the scratch pairing from Denmark. Well, that's it for session one today. But of course, there is another session here on court number one. It's the host, Finland up against India. Join us for that. In the meantime, from all of us here, bye for now.